What's up friends? I'm just about to do my grocery shopping for the week and I thought why not take you guys with me? I'm out of quite a few things that I like to keep in my pantry at home at on hand at all times. I won't be buying a lot of protein today. I typically like to purchase that at Costco or at M&M meat shops. So today will mostly just be some fresh fruit, some veggies, some carb sources, and a couple of fun things that I like to keep in my freezer, such as frozen yogurt. So come along. So I just got back from the grocery store and I was going to go through a couple of things, show you what I got. So I'm going to go between my carb sources, proteins, veggies, fats, stuff like that. So first category I'll go through is carbs. One of my staples in my diet is brown rice. Next I got cream of wheat, which is really high in iron and lots of minerals. It has 
30% of your daily iron intake, which is really important for all my females out there. Oats. Sweet potato. I love to bake this or turn it into sweet potato mash. Every fit girl's staple, rice cakes. And so fruit and vegetables are actually carb sources. That's right. So I got bananas. I got six bananas. And I always try to find the smallest bananas possible because these bananas are probably 85 85 90 grams of banana which equals about 18 grams of carbs and I never just eat a banana whole I always put it either on toast or in oats or something like that so it's a very dense carb source and I also got apples again I also try and find the smallest apples however this week they were pretty large um, one thing that I found that's new are these tortilla bowls and they have pretty good macros on them there's six fat 24 grams of carbs three protein for two tortillas I always get skim milk for my fiance and I always drink cashew milk unsweetened which is really good for protein ice cream I put it in my cream of rice or my cream of wheat, I put it in my oats um, to make protein pancakes as well. My favorite tea, licorice spice. It's herbal free, or it's caffeine free. And I drink that before bed. Pickles. If you're out of macros and at the end of the night you need something, pickles are your go-to. They have like one gram of carb per pickle. I got a bell pepper a cucumber, some broccoli slaw, and there is only 5 grams of carbs for 85 grams, and there's 4 servings in this bag. Um, it's a really good volume food. I like to throw it in with rice and a protein and do like sort of a stir fry with it. Other veggies I got... Asparagus and zucchini. These are both really good low carb vegetables. They're filling, they're fibrous. Um, zucchinis are really good. I like to put them in my stir fries, in my omelets in the morning, even your oatmeal. The asparagus is really low in carbs. And if you feel bloated or anything like that, ladies. Uh, asparagus actually has a diuretic effect, so it'll make you lose some of that water from your system. So they could be your new best friend. Um, I also get blueberries. They are a very low carb fruit. Any berries are like raspberries, strawberries, blackberries. I also buy cream for my coffee. Yes, I like real cream in my coffee and I do count it towards my macros and it's actually not that bad. I only use one tablespoon which is 15 milliliters, has 1.5 fat, one carb, and half a protein. So worth it. I got some smoked chicken breast which this is actually in my fitness pal so it's super easy to find. It's low fat, it's high protein. And I don't use it all the time just because it is kind of a more processed meat, but my fiance likes it, especially for sandwiches. I also get a couple different kinds of cheese. So I got this double cheddar shredded cheese blend, which is 40% less fat. And I actually don't mind low fat cheese. It has 5 grams of fat, 1 carb, and 9 protein for 30 grams, or a quarter of a cup. The other cheese I like to get is this low-fat goat cheese. Super good in salads and in omelets. It has 
3.5 fat, 1 carb, and 5 protein for 28 grams, and usually I just use half that serving size. Another really good protein slash dairy source that I like to get is cottage cheese. I like to switch between either um, Greek yogurt or cottage cheese. Right now I'm really into cottage cheese with fruit and cinnamon and a bit of Walden Farm syrup. Super good. Um, and it has really good macros on it. One fat, 6 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein for half a cup. Greek yogurt is really comparable, so in this Greek yogurt that I have in my fridge, this is 0% Greek yogurt, so there's obviously zero fat, 5 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of protein for 3 quarters of a cup. So I think if I did the math right, the cottage cheese has more protein per gram than Greek yogurt. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure. Like I said at the start of my video, I wasn't planning on getting a bunch of protein sources because I usually like to get those at Costco. Uh, they're cheaper, but these were on sale and my fiance really likes sausages. So I got these turkey mild Italian sausages. They were on sale for $6. And for sausages, they're not too bad. There's 9 grams of fat and 13 grams of protein. Egg whites are a staple. I pretty much eat them every single day. And again, like I said, I wasn't planning on getting a bunch of protein sources, but I found these frozen chicken breast portions, which are new. I've never seen them in the store before. Um, it looks like they're individually sealed, and they are 1.5 fat and 24 grams of protein uh, per piece. And I think these will come in really handy just if we tend to be out of chicken or something. Um, they're in kind of round shape, so you could use them as um, a burger replacement. And they might come in handy when I'm traveling in the next couple of weeks. And... Oh. Also, lettuce. Because micros and I'm making salads this week for lunch. I don't buy this all the time, but we were out and I always like to keep some in the fridge, is frozen yogurt. This is Caramel Pecan Crunch. 2.5 fat, 21 grams of carbs, and 1 gram of protein. And I think that's all I got. So I don't buy all of these things every single week, but that kind of gives you an idea of what I include in my diet a lot of the time. I do follow an If It Fits Your Macros, Flexible Dieting lifestyle but um, I like to eat nutrients and I like to eat well and serve my body and I do like to include treats here or there I think there's a time and place um, but I am in prep right now so it's not always about fitting every single thing into your macros it's serving your body fueling your body for your workouts and I like the taste of healthy food so I am going to put this all away and probably start doing some meal prep for the week. I hope you enjoyed my little grocery haul. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you want to see. Thanks guys!